Hey guys, Adina here with Creative Lifestyles with Adina. And guess what? I've got some fun summer projects here for you. The kids are gonna love these. We're gonna start with this yummy little ice cream cone here. Now you could put ice cream in it as well, but I threw some Starburst in there because it's hot and they won't melt, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start with our ice cream cone. And I love this Rubbermaid container because it's got this suction so it doesn't let the humidity in there and it keeps everything nice and fresh. These are brilliant by Rubbermaid. These are brilliant, love them. Okay, so we have our ice cream cone and we're gonna use this white chocolate. I have it melting in my little woven melting pot. And if you don't have a melting pot, you could use the microwave method or even like a double broiler and they come in little chips. So we're gonna cover the top of our ice cream cone. How fun, the kids are going to love this one. And then we have some little sprinkles here. I just grabbed what I had in the cabinet or you could head to the grocery store, maybe do a little curbside pickup and get the groceries and we go ahead and cover all of our white chocolate or you could use milk chocolate, whatever you like. And that's all you do and then set it upside down to dry. It takes about 10 minutes or stick it in the fridge. It's really quick. And then just fill it with your favorite candy or your favorite ice cream. I mean, how simple is this? Look, oh, we got a wrapper there. <laughs> The kids are going to love that. Okay, another fun project are these pinwheels. How cute are these? And they're so simple. I just took scrapbook paper and I cut it into squares. And then I took my scissors and I cut it all the way up to almost the middle right there. And then I took a little knife here. Now use a pen, let the adults do this. Don't let the kids mess with the knives. But I marked the little spots, the little dots where I wanna put the holes. And so you go ahead and put your little hole there. Put another one there. You can put one in the middle, like so. And like I said, just use scrapbook paper, cardstock, whatever you have around. This is just a fun, inexpensive project. Go like that. And then I have these breads. Now I got these on Amazon, but you can get them at Office Depot, the grocery store, wherever you want, Walmart, any of those places. And then you go ahead and put your bread right in there. Okay, I gotta get this chocolate off my fingers here. <laughs> and then you have, like you do every other side like so put that in there and this will be on my website creativelifestyles.tv for all the instructions and then you're going to put it right through the middle one here if i can find it twist it here and then i just grabbed a straw i have these really big straws here i have one that has a hole so i have these really big straws and you just stick it right in there and then you could um, poke it right through like so and then you have this now you don't want to do it too tight but see look and it spins like a little pinball you got to loosen it up a little bit and then the wind will catch it and it'll be fun and then I have it inside our bug catcher now the trick to this is it's got glow in the dark <laughs> little bird does not like me does he <laughs> it's got glow in the dark paint on it so I just took a little straw here or you could use the tip of a paintbrush whatever you have and I picked one color, I picked blue, and I put little polka dots all over, and this is just the regular acrylic paint, Americana acrylic paint, and you just wanna put polka dots all over your jar, and this is fun for the kiddos. And the cool thing about the glow in the dark paint is that you're gonna wait till the regular paint dries, and then you're gonna put the glow in the dark paint over that, so at night, now we don't have lightning bugs down here in Texas. Well, some places do, but we don't here in San Antonio. I haven't seen them in a while. But coming from Michigan, oh my gosh, we used to go out and catch them all the time. So even if you don't have lightning bugs, you could put any kind of bug in here. Make it a little scavenger hunt. Maybe try and see what kind of bug it is. But put the little dots and it'll glow in the dark. I have a picture on this of this on my website and on my social feed so you can check that out. And my social feed is at Adina Anderson for Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of them, just at Adina Anderson. Remember, creativelifestyles.tv. Get out, have some fun. Happy summer. Oh my gosh, guys, have fun, get creative. Thanks for having me on. Have a great day.